five women accused Alabama's former chief justice of sexual misconduct from incidents that happened decades ago. Welcome in. I'm Jim Dunaway. And I'm Lee Garner and for Sherry Jackson. Now, despite pressure from Washington to drop out of the Senate race, Moore is continuing to deny those allegations. Tonight, we have team coverage of the Moore scandal. We begin with CBS 42 News reporter Stefan Dingle, who is live in Clark County, where Moore is scheduled to speak tonight. Stefan. Lee, good evening. Moore is set to speak here at a Baptist church for a revival conference. This comes just a day after you guys mentioned after a new accuser has come forward alleging that he sexually assaulted her 40 years ago when she was just 16 years old. Now, Beverly Young Nelson held a press conference Monday with her attorney, Gloria Allred, alleging that Moore tried to force her to give oral sex and threatened that if she told anyone that they would not believe her because he was the district attorney at the time. Now, GOP leaders speaking out boldly against Moore, asking him to step down, including Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, who doubled down on that today at a press briefing. Roy Moore should step aside. The women who've come forward are entirely credible. He's obviously not uh, fit to be in the United States Senate. Now, while that's the feeling in Washington, here in Alabama, more supporters seem pretty much unaffected. And if last night's rebuke to those allegations give you any indication, it might give you a good glimpse into what he might say tonight. That's the very latest here in Jackson, Alabama. I'm Stefan Dingle. Back to you.